Hi everyone, it's Tori again, and after working an 11 hour shift, I've got some ranting to do. So, my 8 hour shift was supposed to be just that, 8 hours, nice and simple. Get to about the 6th hour and I find out I'm going to have to pull 11 hours. And why is that? Because we had so many call-outs today that legally, in order to stay running, I had to stay. So we did. So we couldn't close the business for the day. Now, that's fine and dandy and all, except our customers seem to think because we were short-staffed that we couldn't do our jobs and that they could get money off of just waiting in line. <laughs> that's not the case. As a matter of fact, if you're going to go out into public, you better make sure that you're nice to customer service associates. There are people who handle food. There are people who work at registers. There are people who help you find things that you're just constantly walking by and you're just not noticing where it is. And I can't understand why you would be so rude to these people. I mean, sometimes, you know, they're, they're a little rude and stuff like that, but you kind of have to understand where they're coming from. If they're rude to you, that means that somebody ruined their day. It's not just because they're working customer service. There are some people who just shouldn't work in customer service, you know. It's not all on, you know, customers, but I digress. My problem today is with customers. And, you know, five call-outs. Yeah. People don't understand the fact that sometimes people have to get trained. I had a new cashier on tonight, and I had a guy who was constantly doing carry-outs of heavier items because I couldn't leave the front end, and I had me. And the manager who was trying to recover the store picked stuff up off the floor and stuff like that. I don't understand how people can just go into a store and throw stuff on the floor. I don't understand. Like, do you leave your house like that? Like, do you constantly have, like, clothes and, and, and other products on the floor? Like, at your house? Is that the way that you were raised? I mean, if so, like... I'm sorry you were raised that way, but, you know, you're out in public. You kind of have to be respectful of other people. I just don't get it. I don't understand why somebody has to be so rude to a customer service associate. If you're in a bad mood, stay out of the public. Stay home. And for God's sakes, don't get behind the wheel of a car, because if you're going to drive that angry, I feel bad if you slam into anybody. I just don't get it. And you don't get money off because there's, there's there's dirt on clothing that you can literally just wipe off. You don't get money off because you had to wait in line for five minutes. You don't get money off because somebody didn't put in the discount right away. Because it doesn't go in right away anyway. It goes in at the end of the transaction. And you most certainly do not get money off because the service desk, me, is turned around doing a return who was there before you. You can't get everything for free. You have coupons? Fine. You qualify for a discount? Fine. But you don't get money off for nothing. Because you had to wait. Because you're impatient and you're unkind and you just don't belong in the public. So, you know what? That's just the end of it. I've gotten my rant out. My feet hurt. I'm going to take a shower. I've already walked the dogs. So, it's time for me to eat something, shower, and go to bed. But I had to get this out there. So hopefully next video will be on a more positive note, but sometimes you'll just get these rants. Oh, cart bit me and I got a bruise.
So anyway, Tyson, come here. Come see Sissy. I want him to say bye to you. Come here, Tyson. Tyson, you want a treat? Tyson, treat. I don't know where my dog is, but I'm sure he sends his love. I'm gonna go try to find him now. Bye, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>